Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. In this video, I am going to explain and show you in practical what is WebDriver protocol and how to use it. Okay. Now to get started, I am going to my studio. The very first thing let me do is, for example, I will use one of the classic activity. Hope you remember open browser. Right. Now for this demo, I'm going to show in both classic activity and also using the modern activity. Now, first of all, if you don't see this enable classic, you'll be able to see this. I'm going to drag and drop this activity. Let's say I want to open the site rpachallenge.com and let's say I want to open it in Chrome. And then let's say I'm using a click activity. Drag and drop. I'm going to I have to use the classic click activity. So here the classic click activity is this one. And I'm going to click on indicate element. Now, first of all, let me open rpachallenge.com. So which browser am I using? I'm using Google Chrome browser. Okay, I'm using Google Chrome browser. And in that activity, what I have selected, I have selected the browser type as Chrome. And the moment I hit on indicate element, what is happening? The extension is working in the background. Do you see UiPath browser automation 23.10 started debugging this browser. So what is working? Extension is working. So if I select on any element, the extension picks up the selector for that element and shows it in the UiPath studio. Now the question I am asking you. Can I automate the browser without the use of extension? What is your answer? Do you answer yes or no? So most of us are familiar with the UiPath browser extensions like Chrome extension, Mozilla Firefox extension, Edge extension, right? All of this we have used, but let me tell you, yes, it is possible without extension without extension i can still automate my web browsers or web websites now let's see how this can be done now you are not using extension for example if the same thing i want to open an edge my chrome has an extension let me show you if i go to the chrome click on extension there is a uipath browser extension is there the same thing if i open edge Now on my edge, if I see, if I go to this extensions, I have not installed any extensions. Okay. Manage extensions. I do not have a UiPath extension. Now what would happen if I go back to the studio and try to indicate. So this time I have selected this as edge and here I'm going to click and indicate on screen and I'm going to sum. So what is it saying? It cannot communicate with the browser. Do you see? Because your edge browser doesn't have an extension, so it cannot communicate. So the question here is, is there an alternative? And I answered you, yes, there is an alternative. And the alternative is web driver. What is called web driver protocol. Using this, I can still do the automation on a browser without usage of an extension of the browser extension. Now earlier to UiPath, when UiPath extensions and all of these things were not there, this web driver protocols were used to automate the web browser or the web browser websites that are running on a given web browser. Now let me sh show you how I can do it. So I said, yes, it can be done. Now let me show you how it can be done. Now here in this academy page, it is completely in detail. It has mentioned. So you have understood by now web driver protocol is an alternative to your UiPath browser extension. So what are the different browser extension that you might have worked on Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Microsoft Edge browser. We'll go through this in detail, but again, right now I'm just giving a demo. After the demo, we will go through the text. Okay. What is important for the exam? So these are the three different browsers extension you must have used. Now web driver protocol is an alternative to these extensions. Now here is the instruction given. Let's say you have to do automation on Microsoft Edge. Then you should click on the link and download the 
WebDriver protocol. If you're using Chrome, then this is the link. If you're using Mozilla Firefox, this is the link. So let me show it on the edge. I'm going to click on this link. Okay. So here, what, what we are doing, we are doing automation without extension, without extension using WebDriver protocol. So for that, the very first thing, I've opened the link given here for Microsoft Edge. It opened up this page. Here I see download, click on download, and then it asking you which one are you using x64 and there is a version number and the version number of your browser should match with the version number of this one now let me see what is the version i'm using on edge i'll go to the edge click on this three dots help and feedback and there is something called about microsoft edge if i open it it is 119.021.51 now let me go back 119.021.51 so this is the one which is matching now, which what version 64 bit or 32 bit? It's 64 bit. So 64 bit means I have to go with X64. So click on this button and it will get downloaded. Let me go to the downloads folder. Okay. So step by step, I'm showing you. Right click on this, extract all. Extract. So it is going to extract in the same folder, in the downloads folder. I've got it. And inside this, there is something called msedgedriver.exe. Once you have downloaded, your second step is to open environment variable. Now, in case you are not very familiar with environment variables, I won't suggest you to do it. You can just see the practical on my computer and learn from it. I'm going to click on edit the system environment variable and click on environment variable. And so what I did, I opened it from the start menu, edit the system in environment variable. After that, this window has come. Let me do it again system environment view type this is the one and after that there's a button called environment variable i'm going to click on it and then there's something called path i will select the path so the path is in both the places i'm going to use the user variable for rakesh so this is one i'm selecting hit on edit and here i'm going to hit on browse I'll go to downloads. So you have to locate where that exe is ex existing. So currently for testing purpose, I've kept it under downloads. So I'll select that folder where the exe is there. Okay. And done. Okay. And click on okay. And you are done. So now your environment variable is set. Next thing I'll go here and I'm going to just double click on this particular file. Now if I double click on the file, it says Microsoft Edge web driver was started successfully. So it is running now. It is running in your system. After that, I'll go to the studio. Here in this, I will do certain changes. So first of all, I'll select the browser as Edge. The URL remains as it is. The important option is communication method. In this, I'm going to select something called web driver. Okay, so it is now not going to use any extension. Anyways, I have not installed extension for Edge. So it is not going to use extension. Rather, it is going to use the web driver to communicate with the browser. Getting it? Now, let me delete the click activity for the moment. Now, if you simply by making these two changes, selecting the Edge browser and communication method I've selected as web driver, by making these changes, if you simply run it, you will see something different is going to happen. What is the difference? It will appear on the screen very quickly. So what happened? Now, as in Google Chrome, you have seen, right? It was saying when we were doing this, it was saying, right? Uh, UiPath browser automation 23 started debugging. So this extension is working on Google Chrome. However, when I open Edge, now it is controlled by what? Microsoft Edge is being controlled by automated test software. So this is your web driver so is it is it not interesting it, it is interesting right you can see now it is controlled by the web driver getting it here if i use a click activity let's say and click on indicate element uh, escape i have to keep that browser in the back end yeah now indicate and now if i click on submit you can see it is pretty well able to understand different element that means this software automated test software is communicating with the browser and allowing me to select the elements if i click on submit what would happen as the ui path extension used to collect the selector the same thing is happening here now 
web driver has collected the selectors for me so what happened web driver has collected the selectors from the website exactly it is working like uipath browser extension okay getting it so this is done now if i am going to save and run this what's going to happen is going to automatically open the browser it will do the automation the exact automation but again it is controlled by the test software okay now you can see it has clicked on the submit button got it now the next way what we will do we will use a uh, this one uh, the modern activity what is the modern activity alternative for this open use application right use application browser so this is the modern activity now ensure your this option right if you newly open it the newly opened one won't have uh, this one microsoft edge being controlled okay ensure whichever site you are doing it should have this microsoft edge is being controlled by automatic software if you have closed it then you have to open it using the uh, the classic activity so that it opens up like this okay this should be in this this is how it should look okay this white bar has to appear now once the out bar is there i'm going to indicate the application i'm minimizing it okay indicate now now what happens it is able to communicate with the browser so it understand it is able to communicate now here what you do web driver mode i am going to select as with gui headless headless means back, you know background automation headless means background automation with gui mean with graphical user automation okay graphical user interface automation headless means completely background automation so i will say with gui and now i am going to use the click activity click activity and here i am going to click on indicate and i will indicate the submit button okay so indicate and edge so now everything is controlled by this right it's okay fine i'm fine with that confirm confirm okay so here the options are slightly different in the modern activity in the modern activity for the use browser you have to select here saying with ui or headless background automation you want to do or ui with ui if i do and run this getting it so you got a very nice concept of web driver now so you can see it has communicated with the browser so if you keep it open while it is running you should be able to see it okay you can see it has it is clicking okay it is working very fast in the modern activity okay now if you want to do background headless headless means for example you don't have to have this visual element open okay uh, for example if i run this now the edge edge is completely closed okay you will see it is going to do the same activity completely in the background okay you can see and it got executed see but the edge is not open so this is called headless so this practical is very very helpful if you haven't seen web driver protocol now let me go through the academy and explain you couple of important points okay all right what is a web driver protocol the web driver popular protocol used to automate browsers okay this is to automate browsers it exposes the rest api in a separate executable than browser itself this protocol is widely used with the actions such as starting a browser click elements type into i mean all kind of browser automation actions or the activity that you do clicking on typing into and all that in the uipath platform the web driver protocol introduces support for headless browser automation so there's a new term headless this means that the browser automation don't necessarily have to rely on visual elements i showed you this demo hmm? such as window frames automations are executed in the background headless means what background automation remember this point without you having to keep up the browser window okay you don't have to keep the browser window open it will automatically work in the background nevertheless the web driver protocol is not strictly meant for headless browser automation and can also be used for operate browser so both the ways i have shown you you can use the graphical user automation or you can go for a headless that is background automation 
and this is available with three different browsers at the moment google chrome mozilla firefox microsoft edge browser automations why the web driver protocol does not require you to install the corresponding browser extension so what we are avoiding here in case you don't want to use a uipath browser extension then you can go with a web driver protocol got it but they do require the corresponding web driver executable you have to install that i've showed you how i have installed the ms edge driver although web driver protocol can be used for both headless and visual browser automation it is not meant to replace uipath extension here uipath is not saying that you have to use you have to replace uipath you can giving you freedom to use whichever option suits you the best you can use any of this if you are okay with browser extension go with it if not if you want to try the web driver protocol go with it selectors are generated by web driver protocol are the same as those generated by uipath browser extension there is no difference getting it this applies for both headless visual browser automations but not windows frames okay so now these are the important points that you have understood after the demo now let's see this so these are the options i've showed you how to download for each of these browsers installing the web driver protocol i have shown you in detail okay how you edit the environment variable all those steps you have seen it the same steps are mentioned over here and this options also i have showed you in the classic activity right you have to select the browser and make it as web driver i have shown it in the new modern activities also okay modern activity documentation is not here but i have showed you how to do it and here for the classic activity if you want to go for uh, headless browser then the hidden has to be enabled but mostly for this exam modern activities will be considered not the classic activities right so i have shown both of it for your knowledge so thank you guys for watching now i'm going to ask few questions in the next video please do answer them thank you